Alright, come on in. Hey, I'm Sarah from Transviolet and we are on the body tour. Um, last time we spoke was 2018 and we were in a 15 passenger van. We've since upgraded and now we're in this amazing recreational vehicle. Um, so yeah, here it is. So this is the cab. Um, we all kind of split driving. I think on this tour I've done a total of like two hours and five minutes of driving. And uh, mostly it's Patricio and uh, Judah and Mike do a lot too. So does Nick. Nick does a lot of driving. Um, and yeah, if you're sitting in this seat, you have to take care of the driver. You have to make sure they have all the snacks and the drinks that they want, which means running back to that fridge over there and getting all the snacks and the drinks. You're also on DJ duty. So um, yeah, you got to plug in, make sure you got some good tunes going, some good vibes, or maybe, you know, silence, no vibes, especially like Mike, he wants silence in the morning. So you got to make sure it's kind of quiet and chill up here. Um, and then if Patricio is driving, you want to make sure he's like, you're chatting with him. He likes to chat while he's driving. Um, when I'm driving, you just need to make sure I got my Starbucks and um, yeah, any kind of fun drinks. I like LaCroix. So this is Judah's house up here. Judah lives up here. Um, sometimes I go up here, but yeah, like I said, it's mostly Judah. And um, he's like up here with his headphones and his iPad or his phone, just kind of chilling, having his little isolated Judah moment. He closes this up because he doesn't want to, you know, he's being a little moody boy. We let him stay up there. And uh, this is the feed station, the bracelet making station, which we've been um, utilizing the last week of tour because we had a very long drive. Don't remember what cities we were driving from, but it was like nine hours. So we went to the store and got all these fun beads and have been making all kinds of fun stuff. This one says daddy. This one says pretty. Um, this one says fuck off. I think I was having a bad day when I did that one. And oh yeah, this one says tropics, naive. We got some song titles. And this one says rot. This one's, oh, someone gave this one, this one to me. This is what started the idea. Fans kept giving me these, um, and I thought they were really cute. And so I was giving, I was like handing out ones I already had, but I was like, I'm gonna run out. So I made some more to give out to fans at our shows. So yeah, come to our shows, I'll trade you a bracelet. It's really cute and fun. This can fold out into a bed. We haven't had to do it on this tour. We've taken um, this RV on other tours in the past. This becomes a bed. This also can become a bed. They all like fold out. And I think there was like one particular drive, if I'm not mistaken, it was like we had to overnight from um, San Francisco to LA. And like everybody was sleeping. Like this, this bed was taken, these beds were taken, the back bed was also taken. We were all just like conked out and like one hero was up here driving, a friend of ours that decided to drive for us. So yes, these can become beds. This is also where people eat. So when it's not beads, we put all the beads away. We have meals here. I also do my makeup here if there's not an appropriate green room. So sometimes it's me and Christina in the morning doing our makeup um, before the show. It's a very bumpy ride, so I don't advise doing eyeliner in here, but you can get the basics down and then do eyeliner right before the show. So these cabinets are mostly for merch, so it's pretty empty right now, but there's more like temporary tattoos here. This is a gift for our friends, um, Jamie and Kalecki, who are amazing friends and fans um, who are gonna let us stay at their Airbnb. So we're gonna give them a fun little gift. Um, and then this is, this is all Judah's stuff up here and shoes. I don't know why this is here. Judah. And uh, yeah, this is also empty because this is where like the important things that we'll always forget go like our ear bag and the merch box and laptops and stuff like that we put them up here so that they're easy to grab when we're leaving into the venue and it's easy to check be like okay that's empty we got it all and then in here we got all sorts of snacks it's completely chaotic right now because it's very bumpy in here look we got an avocado what else we got we got some indian fare this is what i eat every morning for breakfast is instant oatmeal because I can just like plug in my kettle, pour some hot water or put it in the microwave and make my breakfast. We also got some salt and pepper. Never know when you're gonna need that on the road. This is my honey, I put in my tea. Um, oh yeah, we got a bunch of sour candies back here. Nick and I always get into these at the end of the night after shows. It's like a little ritual, we have sour candy fun. Oh, this is extremely important. Mike Pan's protein cookies. Lately he's been getting Patricio into it as well. 
Mike loves his protein because he's a big, strong boy. That needs lots of protein. What else is in here? Oh yeah, some mac and cheese. This was okay. It wasn't that good. I tried it. I don't know. It was just all right. So our tour manager, Jordi, is a very proud New Yorker, an Italian New Yorker, and he likes his espresso in the morning. So he kindly makes everybody espresso in the morning, including himself. And yeah, this is the espresso machine. Very important part of tour. Keeps us all awake, keeps us all happy. And uh, yeah, that's really fun. There's more snacks over here. So many snacks. We really like Trader Joe's in this band. We get really excited when there's a Trader Joe's because they always have new things. So a lot of Trader Joe's stuff. This is the fridge. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, so many. Got a lot of coffee, yerba mates, some LaCroix. It's pretty much whatever is in the green room that we don't consume in the green room ends up in this fridge. So someone got cheese curds from Wisconsin. That's cool. Uh, oh yeah, oat milk, some LaCroix, some, oh, sorry, what are these? White Claws, LaCroix. There's more overnight oats. My breakfast in the morning. Smoothies. I drink these before going on stage because I don't want to throw up before I get on stage after hopping around. I had Korean food before going on stage the other day. It was not fun. We got Reese's. We have, these are like my emergency meals because sometimes I'm, I'm vegan, so on tour it can be kind of a nightmare to find vegan food. So I keep like these kind of things that I can put in the microwave. Also, where's the thing I had? Look at what I found. This is a vegan breakfast sandwich. I had one the other day, it was pretty good, I have to say. Um, oh, and these are really good. I got some vegan, uh, what are these, ice cream bars? These are amazing, love these. Yeah, um, so all kinds of stuff in the freezer. So this is um, our little squid friend. He doesn't have a name, which I just realized, but that's okay, he's our nameless mood squid and we'll just call Moody the squid. And uh, a fan gave this to us and the squid can either be angry squid or happy squid. And so, yeah, when you come in the van, you get to determine what kind of day it is and you put it down so everybody knows what kind of mood you're in. This was me this morning, but this was me after I got my, my chai tea latte, happy squid. This is more my mood now. Okay, so over here, this is a shower. <laughs> we don't use it as a shower, but we do put our luggage in the shower. And we've had a few mishaps, so now <laughs> we we have this bag over the shower head because um, in Las Vegas, on the last tour, it turned on with all our luggage inside. We got everything very wet, and we had to hang everything up. It was a very sad night. This is the bathroom. Um, only number ones, no number twos. Otherwise, we kicked off the tour. And this is the medicine cabinet. There's like Ricola's and wipes and I don't even know what's in here. Tylenol. Yeah, it's a nice little sink. You can wash your hands. Lots of TP. So we're out. We've got girls on this tour. And uh, if this was MTV Cribs, I'd say this is where the magic happens. But um, that's it's not where any magic happens. <laughs> this is where people sleep when you're really tired. Uh, it's a very bumpy ride. But... We set up these cool LED lights, so it's all cute in here. Um, I've taken many naps back here. Like I said, it's very bumpy, so it's wild. You're flying around. And then up here, I don't even know what's up here. Someone's jeans. It's a laptop. There's my pillow, which I keep separate because, I don't know, I don't like my pillow to be clean. Oh, here's all my things. This is a disaster. There's a sweater, there's extra boots. There was like a hanging thing, but it all just fell down and now it's just a big mess. I got some new sunglasses at, I don't remember where we were, one of the cities. They're really cool. Um, yeah. And the other closet is Judah's closet. I think this is actually more organized than me, which is embarrassing. Yeah, it does look better. See, his pole didn't come down, so it's not fair. Here's all Judah's things. Here's his shoes. Oh, and um, here's some paintings I made and brought for some of our super fans we're gonna see on the road. I didn't get to, um, these are for our Patreon fans. I didn't get to mail them out before we left, 
so I wanted to give them to them on, in person. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the whole RV, and like I said, we're on the body tour promoting our body album that we just released. You can listen to it wherever you listen to music. Um, what else do I want to plug? We're on tour right now. Go check it out. You can find tickets at transviolet.com. Follow us on all the socials, TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. We're, um, yeah, just search trans Transviolet. You'll find us. We'll see you soon.